problem 6.4-1. The beam is constructed from two boards, as shown with nails spaced every eight inches in the longitudinal direction. If each nail can support a 300 pound shear force, determine the maximum vertical shear force that can be applied to the beam, considering shear flow only. So here's our beam. We see there's two boards stacked one on top of the other. They're held together by three nails at a given cross-section. The three nail combinations are spaced at eight inches apart. We're told each nail can hold 300 pounds. We need to find what's the maximum uh, internal shear force that we can apply to this beam. We'll start with our shear flow formula, which is shear flow is equal to internal shear force V times Q divided by I, the moment of inertia. And we're going to be solving for V in this case. So I've rewritten the shear flow formula to solve for V, our internal shear force. And I'll call that equation one. The other equation we're going to need is the fastener spacing equation that links fastener spacing to shear flow uh, and also includes the fastener capacity and the number of fasteners at a cross section. And I will rearrange that equation to solve for shear flow. Now if I substitute equation 2 into equation 1, I can get an equation for the internal shear force. Now the next step is to find I and Q. We'll use the equation for a moment of inertia of a rectangular shape. And we're going to find the moment of inertia for the whole cross-section. That's both boards combined. And that'll be base times height cubed divided by 12. The base is 3.5 inches. The height is 2 times 1 and a half inches. I'll cube that, divide by 12, and here's our value for moment of inertia. Now, Q is going to be equal to the A prime times y bar prime, and that's going to be evaluated uh, uh, either above or below the joint between the two boards. So we're going to take as our area, so we're going to take as our a prime this hatched area that I've shown. And we'll multiply that by the y bar prime, which is the centroid of this hatched area and its distance from the neutral axis, which is going to be right here at the joint and we can get a value for Q. The last step is to uh, substitute my variables into this equation that we found above for internal resultant shear force. First of all, the capacity of the fastener was given. That was 300 pounds per nail. N is the number of nails in the cross section. There are three of them. Moment of inertia we found above. S in this equation is the longitudinal spacing of the fasteners, which was shown as eight inches and Q we found above. And solving for internal resultant shear force, we get a value of 225 pounds. And we're done.